It was not a great reading month for me at all. Hi friends, I'm Erin Mack and welcome to my channel. Uh, today we are, I'm talking very softly because I just woke up. <laughs> Uh, today we're vlogging again. It's another vlog. Um, I'm going to the library. I got my second shot two weeks ago, so I'm fully vaxxed, and this will be my first time in person at a library in over a year, which it's so wild because, like, I built my whole Instagram social media about borrowing books because... That's how I like to get my books. That's why I don't have a lot of books on my bookshelf because I try to only buy, or at least I did before everything, I try to only buy books that I love and then just read what I can from the library. That way it's not an expensive habit. <laughs> but yeah, I'm really excited to go back to the library. Mitch is coming with me. We might go other places. I don't know. It's also Mother's Day, so we gotta make sure to call our moms. But first, what we're gonna do is have some coffee because I'm not a morning person. So let's go do that. Yay, coffee! Okay, reading update. I'm not posting a what I read wrap up in April because I didn't read anything. Well, that's not true. I didn't finish anything. I started like four different books and I just couldn't finish any of them. It was not a great reading month for me at all. And I'm not really sure why, um, but we're in May and I'm on my third book. So that's exciting. <laughs> And honestly, I missed having physical books because all I read are stuff from the library on my Kindle. And like, as convenient as that is, I missed having physical books in my hand and not spending a fortune. <laughs> so yeah, that's why I'm excited to go to the library. I have three books that I'm really looking forward to. Um, I know they're at the library, or at least as of yesterday, they're at the library. They're all, wow. I am so froggy this morning. <laughs> yeah, anyways, I'm looking for three books at the library. They are all adult fantasy romance um, or fantasies with romance in them, all by authors of color. So I'm excited. I'm hoping that I can find more books to recommend um, that are along the lines of Akatar or From Blood and Ash because I know people love those and then kind of don't know what to read next. There are a lot of white authored books that are like that but like you know we're all trying to diversify our shelves and I feel like I don't see a lot of recommendations of that specific genre fancy romance books by authors of color. So trying to do my research, trying to read them. <laughs> Although I said I was going to do that in April and it felt like a homework assignment and so I didn't do that. But now I'm back. It feels like I'm excited to read again. Do y'all go through any of that? Leave a comment below. Like, do you hit reading slumps just because or do certain things trigger them? How do you get out of them? Um, I think I just had to wait it out. That's the plan. I have my list of books and then I'll probably just see what else is in the YA section or maybe even the romance section. So I am excited to go to the library. Yay! Happy Mother's Day! Happy Mother's Day! to the library first because it's 
not open for that long. Um, yeah, so we're gonna go to the library first and then we're going to eat a late lunch. And yeah, Mitch is, Mitch is here. Hey. <laughs> so yeah, let's go to the library. I'm so excited. I haven't been there in over a year. Isn't that wild? Wild. <laughs> We did it! We have some books. Oh, that felt really nice. <laughs> and I guess it's since like COVID and stuff. Um, I get these books for six weeks. So honestly, if I knew that, I would have gotten more than one, two, three, four, five books. But you know, I can just come back and then get 11 books next time. <laughs> right? Mitch got this was it dr shane's comic book yeah i was looking at them and uh and that one popped my eye and i was like okay and i read the first few pages and it's really good quick summary he can't use magic anymore <gasps> dun 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 now we're gonna go get some tacos and i'll i'll do like a haul and show you what i got next time be i mean not next time <laughs> when we get back home because i'm hungry so let's go Tag up. Back at home, I have all of my books that I got from the library and I'm gonna show you tell you all about them what all did I get I got five books I'll show you the spines of them <laughs> I got five books these three so those are the three that I went looking for right so Empire of the Sand by Tasha Suri I did some research on all of these before I got them right and they should have fantasy slash science fiction and romance. I'm hoping for some steam um, because you know I like that. <laughs> should we read the synopsis really fast? It looks like the library stuff is covering the synopsis, but it says a nobleman's daughter with magic in her blood, an empire built on the dreams of enslaved gods. Mm. What? Okay, well that stinks. I can't read the synopsis and there's no synopsis in the front. There is a map, which you know I love maps. If you've seen my Instagram, I like fantasy maps. <laughs> Whatever. I'll, <laughs> I'll pop up a synopsis right here. This is The Hundred Thousand Kingdoms by N.K. Jemisin, which she's a really famous black author. Probably know her from the fifth season. The reason I picked this one and not for her newer, more popular one is because I'm, from what I've read online, this has more romance in it. Why? Why do they do that? One young woman must survive intrigue, betrayal, and passion. Okay, so we do have some romance. Great. Oh, so this was her debut novel. Funny, scary, bittersweet twist. Third one, Sorcerer to the Crown. We got a hardback novel by Zin Cho. Oh, there we go. Not with a glare. Oh, right. Hardbacks just have reviews on them, not the synopsis. 
Love that. No, I, I, I don't. At his wit's end, Zachariah's wife, the sorcerer royal and eminently proficient magician, ventures to the border of fairyland to discover why England's magical stock stocks are drying up. But when his adventure brings him into contact with a most unusual comrade, a woman, <laughs> with immense power and an unfathomable gift, he sets on a path that will alter the nature of sorcery in all of Britain and the world at large. Wow. Okay, hopefully there will be some good romance in these. To the books that I didn't plan for getting, was very surprised <laughs> at this one being in stock. Young adult, young adult, all the others are adult fantasy. So you know this is just continuing the Grishaverse. Nikolai and Zoya kind of did some snooping to get some spoilers because I didn't think I would read it. Um, so I won't say them, but I think I want to read it even though I know the spoilers, I hear a lot of good things and you, I like this world. You know I like Shadow and Bone, Six of Crows, all that kind of stuff. So I'm excited. This one, I just picked it up because I thought I saw the spine. I don't know if you can see it. It's glittery and that caught my eye and I thought it was pretty. <laughs> um, it's called Song of the Current by Sarah Tulser. At 17, Carol has spent years listening to the water, ready to meet her fate, but the river god hasn't spoken her name yet, and if he hasn't by now, there's a chance he never will. Carol decides to take her future into her own hands when her father is arrested for refusing to transport a mysterious crate. By agreeing to deliver it in exchange for its release, Carol finds herself caught in a web of politics and lies with dangerous pirates after the cargo. An arrogant courier, <sighs> you know I don't know how to pronounce things, an arrogant courier with a secret and without the river god to help her. With so much at stake, Carol must choose between the life she always wanted and the one she never could have, have imagined for herself. Okay, so we have pirates and a romance. <laughs> awesome. I just thought, you know, something about covers with stars in the sky, the night sky really get me. These are the books that I got. I'm excited. I haven't read physical books that from the library in such a long time. Okay, it's the evening and we're making frozen pizzas. And while we wait, I'm gonna start on Sorcerer to the Crown because it seems like the least intimidating. It's not that long. <laughs> And with that, I think I'm gonna end the vlog. Also, thanks for a thousand subscribers. That was made me really happy. Yeah, so I'm gonna start reading this and that's all for the vlog. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.